Virgos, hey loves. Well, let's get into your messages for the day. How are you guys doing? Talk to me in the comments. I'm sending you a multitude of love, light, and positive energy. You already know this is a channel of high vibrations, motivation, acceleration, encouragement, and healing energy. Hey y'all. I hope you're feeling well. If you're not having your best day, check out our community board and allow my high vibrations and my good, good energy to make you feel a whole lot better. And I'm sending you my love. Guys, so this card popped out while I was shuffling the tea leaf cards and it is saying triumph over your troubles and obstacles. I was meditating over your energy and I asked Spirit, what is this about? So there's a lot of you that are getting a bit impatient. Okay, a lot of things are happening at the same time, especially with all this energy around surrounding the holidays. Some of you are still um, single. Some of you are still having trouble with your families and things like that. So I'm feeling like the energy here is just letting you know to be encouraged, letting you know that these things are just temporary. Okay, you're going to be triumphant over all these problems and obstacles that seem so big right now. But focus on something that's even bigger, the outcome. What's going to happen? The fact that you have control over it. You know, the fact that at any time you can start, look, turn it up some. Turn up the, look, I, what is it? How do you say it? I don't know. It's time to just light the fire. All right. Just take it to the next level. Be bold. Be brave. Believe in yourself. Start speaking life to your situation. Up the ante. That's what it is. Time to up the ante. Okay. And I don't really speak that way, but it's coming to me to tell you like that, like my guides are saying that, like all kinds of different stuff. And your guides are here too in the reading with us. All right. Triumph over your problems are here. So don't worry. That's going to come. All right. That's going to happen. I'm here. I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing that it's important for you to embrace the test, embrace the test, embrace the test, embrace the lesson. You know, don't feel neglected or don't feel left out or anything like that. Feel blessed to be able to get elevated. Because after you pass this, you go to another level. Okay? We have wind chimes here. We got peace and harmony. It's destined for you. This is going to happen. Okay? So be encouraged. Feel good. Things are going to get better. And don't stress about these holidays. Some people are just grateful that you remembered them on the holiday. So you don't have to break your pockets, break the bank, or feel bad that you couldn't do anything. Some people aren't even expecting anything. Trust me. Times are a little bit hard for some people out here. All right? So light and easy, I do. Light and easy. Okay? Your love is sufficient. Okay? And your acknowledgement is cobweb, protection from negative forces beyond your control. So the people that are trying to send you negative energy or trying to, you know, come in between anything that you're accomplishing, try to mess with your money and tap into your energy and stuff. Uh -huh. Spirit said time out for the dumb stuff. All right. Point blank and period. Moving on. We ain't going to breathe too much life into them holes. Uh, yeah, I said it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Celebration, fun, enjoyment, tankered. All right, so this is what you have to look forward to. Don't worry, be happy. I'm feeling peace, love, and light. You're really lighthearted right now. You're, baby, you're already unbothered. You you just need, I'm touching and agreeing today. You already unbothered. Have okay, <laughs> look, y'all, I love my soul tribe. I felt that. Okay, period. Go ahead, say it, boo, period, boo. Like, <laughs> Yes, y'all. I love it because that's what gets you what you need. That's what gets you to outshine the negativity. That's what gets you opening doors for yourself. High vibrations, laugh, love, move forward. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. All right, so look, either you're going to love me a whole, whole, whole lot or you're going to hate me real, real, real bad. Either way, it's fine because either way, I'm going to have peace and harmony over here. So to God be the glory for all he's done and hopefully you can catch on. Right, next. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to spend a lot of time there. That's that that's that bomb mental control, mind control over yourself. You got you in the driver's seat always. You choose if you're gonna entertain some negative thought or not. You choose how long you're gonna spend in misery lane. Don't nobody have time to be on misery lane. I ride past it all the time. Speed past it, okay? That's one red light I'll run. It's like no, that's a stop sign I'll run. I don't know about a red light. But <laughs> Arrow. No, but I don't run stop signs, y'all. I don't need y'all to come. <gasps> you run stop. No, stupid stop. Like, and my smart one's not stupid. It's the people that would say that is stupid. 
that's just stupid. I, I'm I'm an earth angel. I mean, I'm human flesh. Like, yeah, don't treat me like I'm like not seeing this crap. <laughs> Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Yes, I have to make choices just like y'all do. It's like, huh, are you going to be whole today? Are you going to be a healer today? Are you a teacher today? Or are you just a peasant? What are you doing? Are you living in low vibes? <laughs> yes, I got to make sure I'm not doing that stuff. Honey, I'm not a full angel. I wouldn't be here. I would not be here. I'd be helping you in spirit. <laughs> someone, new is enter someone new is entering your life. And we're here for it. We can use some new energy, okay? Thank you. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Uh-huh. Come on in. Come on in. And they're going to be like, it's nice in here. Yeah, it's nice over here. Tell them, y'all. <laughs> and work, achievement, and success. Spirit said, keep going. Keep going. Yes, keep going. I like it. This is our kind of message. Go ahead and drop your heart now before this wretched tarot come in and just ugh, rain on our little parade. I don't, I don't think so, though. I don't feel it. July is going to be significant. Somebody dealing with somebody that's born in the month of July. Oh, they so sweet. Uh-huh, they're sweet. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> so far, we're going to keep an eye on them. That good hawk eye on them. Hawk eye. You know how to... Some of these, when I read the teleprompter, I mean the, the closed caption, oh my God, sometimes I be laughing. Y'all, it be having me cracking up. Lighthearted, carefree time. That's why I don't change it because it's a funny laugh. Like laughter is healing, and it is so funny reading that with the thing saying I'm saying. Whew, child, I be crying. It says, "Okay, so last but not least, under the bottom of the deck, the most difficult time of a situation is over." All right, so no worries here. I love it. All right, I like it a lot. Like it a lot. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. I see somebody cutting off somebody. Somebody cut off somebody that was too concerned with sexual matters. And now this person got went from having a strong passion to a strong hate. They mad. And for some of you, you had friends that really liked you, but now they got to peep at how successful you are, and they are mad. Some of them are pissed. Like, what the hell? <sighs> Who is going to be mad at somebody's success? Lord, help these people. All right, help them. Help them fast, please. Because, look, people stop, they, the patient, people's patience is wearing thin out here in these streets. They starting to slap people now. I don't want nobody to get slapped, Lord. Just help these people that's crossing the wrong line. All right, y'all, let's see. People are starting to get slapped. <laughs> but, what? It's true. All right, three cards fell out. That's all we need. Y'all act like I can't tell the truth. I'm just saying. I'm not like, like, Nine of Earth, enjoying life. <laughs> oh my God, I'm laughing at myself. All right, come on, y'all. Cause so y'all laughing. It's not every some. It's a lot of people laughing with me. Some of y'all uptight. Like, calm down. Don't bring that over here. Anyway, laugh. Enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful in self-employment. Ow. All right, so nine of earth, a lot of my Virgos are abundant. A lot of us are go-getters, money makers, self-starters. We get it. We get it. Okay, and that's just that on facts. My phone, my butt, knock my phone off the chair. God bless the child. Well and endowed. But hey, who, I ain't got no problem with it. I'm going to pick the phone up, okay? <laughs> I put the phone in the chair, and I'm trying to fit in the phone just like, you know what, we'll jump ship. Anyway, hi, priestess. Hey. And some of my high priestesses are watching me. Hey, y'all. Hey. Some of my earth angels, my star seeds. Hey, y'all. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for your love and support. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. All right. This is spirit telling you to use your intuition. All right. My intuitive sisters and brothers, y'all make sure that y'all stay grounded. Okay. You just have to stay, stand clear of this this cloud of energy over these people. Like, I don't know what that... I do know what it is, but that's for a different video. What I'm saying is, it's thick, okay? And it's going to be a lot of people looking for your energy because it's a lot of people being depleted faster than they expect, okay? Faster than they expect. When I tell you it's happening faster and faster, and you probably see it right in front of your eyes. By the time somebody could be in your presence, 
feeling whole, doing good, you're talking to them, and this seems promising. By the time they leave your energy and come back, you don't even recognize who the hell this person is. These people be having so many demons and so many things that they indulged in that you don't know about, honey. Use your intuition. You don't have time to let these people block you. All right? Don't believe the first thing smoking. Look at Archangel Z Zadikio. Y'all, don't laugh. I don't know what that said. It says Z-A-D-K-I-E-L. Zadikio. Z Z you know what? Look at this beautiful angel here bringing you balance. We're going to just leave it like that. We ain't going to waste too much time on it. All right? The need for balance and moderation is here. Cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. Not only to act towards somebody or to act on something that you've been planning, but also to spend your money. Make sure you're timing it perfectly. Get some money in before you let some money out. Don't manifest in reverse. Keep going out, out, out to spend, spend, and then get you being the negative. You're not getting your money back fast enough because you, you released it faster than you let yourself gain balance. All right? Somebody needed that. Yeah, somebody needed that. Mm -hmm. And somebody's asking about finances. That's what you need to know about finances. All right? Time to balance. Let's see. Spirit, what you want to tell my Virgos today? What's the message from my amazing soul tribe? I love Virgos. Because I'm a Virgo. But that's not why I love Virgos. I love Virgos because we so we. Oh. Okay, hold on. Some somebody's secret got revealed because this just came out. Somebody revealed some secrets about somebody that they were supposed to be in a connection with or found out that somebody is in a relationship and they tried to hide it. That's why you're like, man, I'm enjoying life. I don't have time. I'm using my um, intuition to stay balanced. You don't have time for these people. Look. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> but some of my Virgos, I'm not laughing at you because you're holding on to somebody for their life and I don't find that cute. But for a lot of my Virgos here, you holding on to your money and everything. You're not trying to give nobody anything. <laughs> You're just like, hell no. You won't get me twice. Got me once. Shame on you. Get me twice. Shame on me, baby. That ain't happening. I hear you. Oh, holding on tight because you're abundant, baby. you blessed. Okay, you're wealthy. You're wealthy. Somebody could be holding back from having a relationship or for being in a relationship. Somebody could have been holding back information. This is holding on to people, places, and things. Um, and I feel like somebody could have been holding on to information or somebody is holding on to somebody for their life. Um, and this person is in a relationship. Show me more, Spirit. This person holding back. Somebody could be holding back from a relationship and thinking about you. Somebody is think, thinking about you, trying to heal their heart from heartbreak, from being used, from being abused. This person can't really focus on giving you anything. They're sick right now. Also, somebody found out that they're sick, possibly. Ace of Pentacles. This could be a Taurus Capricorn of Virgo, two Virgos. Show me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a little demanding. They're like, show you what? Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. Thank you. They shot it out of here. <laughs> Sorry. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody is holding back. I feel like somebody is trying to save money. I feel like somebody is wanting to be in a new commitment or a new relationship to start off and they need some new sex. They're like, man, I need everything new. Somebody feels like you make them very happy. They see that you're a very stable Virgo. I see this, but you're holding back. You're holding, somebody's holding on to you. Are they holding on? They being strong. Are they holding on a holding back spirit? They're holding on. Let me see. One more. They're holding on and they're trying to manifest things. They feel like they have all the tools they need to make it work. They know how to make money. They know what to say. They have the passion and the emotional um, balance. All right. And they have the words. So they're trying to bring this thing into fruition. They're trying to bring you toward them in a positive way without pushing you back. I feel like somebody has thought about this long and hard. This could be a Pisces here thinking about coming towards you. Or this is just somebody very intuitive. Wow, somebody is sick and going through karma. They sick. Oh, and they heartbroken. What happened? What's, what are they sick from? Oh, man. Somebody is sick and they have to leave you out in the cold. Let me see. <clears throat> And their intuition is blocked. This is a hermit in reverse. Dang. Oh, man. 
Yeah, Spirit is saying hold back from this connection. This is a soulmate here, but hold back. Your angels are here telling you to hold back. This person can't give you what you need right now. There, it's a lot of people. Um, it's a lot of people going through this because this came out for water signs too. It's like the energy here, the new moon energy, is making people look at their situations. It's making people detach. Like I've had several people do their readings and they're letting things go. Like people are looking at their partner like they've seen a damn ghost and like running. <laughs> a lot to unite. This is this is universal. This is happening all across the board. That's why you keep seeing it, especially right now. It's cuffing season. It's holiday time, and you got people that's just release, release, release. Bye, bye, bye. New, old, new, old. The old people coming back. It's cold outside, but look, a tower is here because this person got to wait. They're waiting for their. They're waiting for the fruits of their labor to come. They really can't do anything right now. They're trying to balance their life. Somebody's going broke. They don't have any choice but to move on, like get move on to calmer waters. They got this child's mother and this child, and they're taking their little people and moving on. They're like isolating themselves and only surrounding themselves with them. I mean, for some of you, that's what this person feels like they, they have to do. They don't feel like things are working out in their favor out here in the world. So they're willing to cut their losses and attach to somebody that's not good for them. Yeah, they feel like it's not a recognized victory. Something wasn't a recognized victory. I feel like somebody kept on one-upping them or somebody here. It's like the, the arguments and the words. It's like what's being said is not, they don't know what to do with that. Um, somebody wanted a recognized victory. And also, that's not love. That's just somebody wanting to feel good, wanting you to feel good or feeling like finally they're winning. I feel like, but why would they make, why would you spend your time to make them feel like that when they're not making you feel that way? They're making you feel like this. Like, nope, I'm going to hold on to what I got. Cut my losses. I'm very abundant. I don't have time. Or they're holding on. They're hold, I feel like they're holding on to these, like, things. Other people. They're holding on to their money. They can't really spend any money. I feel like they just are not in a good place right now. They're trying to manifest. And I feel like they're manifesting. Somebody here is manifesting a wife. We got the emperor and the empress. So this is a divine feminine and a divine masculine, okay? So it's not like this person, I saw the emperor, but he's not here. Um, but, because <clears throat> I was looking, I thought I'd put him out, but I left him in the deck. But yeah, I feel like this person is manifesting something. Manifesting a wife. Somebody's manifesting marriage, and they're manifesting a new beginning. They're trying to put an end to this tough cycle that they're in of financial struggles, um, needing needing love, feeling defeated, not believing in themselves, not having faith. So they're really, really evolving here. Somebody is closing the door to all this. Yeah. Yeah, somebody wants happiness. Yep. And we got the King of Pentacles. You're at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. Somebody could be coming towards you to, to apologize. We got the Page of Cups. Somebody could be expressing their care or expressing love towards you. Somebody could send you a message or expression of love. All right, I see you here looking for equal give and take or just dispersing everything. Like you're giving money away and time um, to everybody. I feel like this is somebody that is wanting an equal give and take. Not to everybody, but I feel like somebody wants an equal give and take. Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to be coming towards you, showing you love, or you're going to be going toward this King of Pentacles energy, showing them some kind of love and attention. Love and attention. <laughs> so that's what I have here. Yeah, I feel like somebody is cutting their losses. I feel like somebody is moving on. Look, it's a Knight of Pentacles. A younger Taurus Capricorn or Virgo, or they're just in this Knight energy. Yeah, somebody wants marriage. They want a happy relationship with you. They see this in their future, but they're taking their time. The Knight of Pentacles is barely moving. This person is moving so slow. It seems like they're not moving at all, but they are moving. They're a careful planner. All right, they take their time and they're, they're, they're kind of strategic because when they plant these seeds that they're planting, no one is coming to uproot them. This is going to be seeds that grow for the long term, long term investment. So don't count this person out so soon, Virgo. Don't don't call it quits on this person too fast. I feel like this person cares more than you realize. 
It is safe for you to relax because the universe has your back and the, your divine purpose is to enjoy your life at this time. A lot of you have learned the lessons and all Spirit wants you to do is have fun. Enjoy. Enjoy experiencing things. Enjoy watching people go through. Enjoy being the lighthearted um, go-to person. You know, enjoy this. Spirit is saying you earned this break. Enjoy it. All right, and don't forget, anybody working towards you, I mean, working against you or moving towards you with ill intent, you're protected. All right, so walk in that energy of protection and walk in that energy of triumph over obstacles and troubles because it's going to come to an end, right? And July should, could be very significant for you, okay? All right, loveies, I love you, and I'm sending you a multitude of love lights. Somebody's definitely dealing with the Pisces here because Pisces just yelled out at me. Pisces, it's like, all right, okay, Pisces, bye. <laughs> I love you and I mean it. If you want a personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. Closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one at gmail.com. All right, Virgo, love you and I mean it. Bye. Mm -hmm.